Before we talked about the amp meter that was made into the multimeter. That is an inline amp meter. This is an inductive or clip-on amp meter. The thing that makes this a very handy tool is we don't have to break the circuit like we did on the other one. This one we simply open up the jaws, put it around the cable, and it reads a magnetic field or magnetic flux generated by current flowing through that conductor. A couple things you have to keep in mind before you use this. One, this has two different scales. For what we're gonna test right now, we're gonna use the 40 amp scale versus the 400 amp scale. There's this arrow inside the jaw. If I put this on my conductor backwards, it's not gonna give me a correct reading because it's gonna show a negative number. Now, there's times that for convenience, you may wanna put it on backwards. Just have to keep in mind that if you do, you are gonna get a negative value. So if you're checking an alternator or you're checking the system like we are, instead of a one amp, you're gonna get a negative one amp reading. So we're gonna check our system here. Again, we've got on our 40 amp function. We're gonna zero the meter out and we're gonna put it on our charge cable. Now, as I said before, we have it on backwards because the current is opposite of what the arrow is. We have the right value, but we have a negative number, simply because I do have it on backwards just because it's easier to see right now. But very easy, we can put it on the wire and we can see exactly how much current's flowing. Now, where would a technician use this? We talked about before on the other video of doing a parasitic check, seeing what was on inside of a truck. This is a very handy way you can put it on the cable and see, hey, do I have a high load on before I ever disconnect anything? The other thing too is if I was using it to check an alternator cable or check a lift gate, it's a very easy way. I can just clip it over the wire and I can see exactly how much current's flowing.